In her 94 years, she never thought she'd be greeted by some of the church's finest shepherds, Cardinals Dolan, O'Malley, McCarrick, but no embrace more sweet than her son's. I never imagined it in my wildest thoughts, <laughs> but I know how happy he was just being an altar boy. Marie Therese Tobin watched as her son Joseph was installed to serve the people of the Archdiocese of Newark. The new Archbishop proudly showing his papal letter of appointment. It's a diocese our Bishop Nicholas de Marzio knows well. It's where he grew up. I'm so happy Cardinal Tobin is here. He's a young man with a lot of energy, a lot of experience. The Archdiocese is large, a complex place. I'm sure he's going to do his best. His eminence is the first Cardinal the Archdiocese has ever had. He's ready to listen and learn. You don't have any plans yet. Does that still stand? Well, I, yeah, I think it would be a little bit arrogant and not to say stupid to come in with a, like, a, a recipe. But I, I do like to listen and I love cities. So I'm looking forward to this one. His siblings, he's the oldest of 13, assured that love will be reciprocated. Wherever Joe has gone, he's made it home. And right back to his roots of Southwest Detroit, wherever he has laid his hat, um, I know, uh, albeit I'm a bit biased, that you guys will grow to love him as much as we do. A Benedictine nun from the Archdiocese of Indianapolis, the Cardinal's previous post tells us why. He loves to be with everybody, and when you see him in a group, he's not trying to get out of there to go do something else. When he's with you, he's with you. His mother proves that, recalling an early memory. I don't know why I'm thinking of it today. When his seventh birthday, uh, came along in the first grade. He had invited the whole class. This weekend, the party was a bit larger. Some 2,000 people were in attendance, anxious to get to know their new shepherd. For Currents, I'm Michelle Powers.